What about the people who follow the satanic belief system? Are they devil worshippers? Or do they actually just have a different philosophy on life? The Church of Satan was founded by this guy, Anton Sander LeVay, back in San Francisco, 1966. That cat right there with the, is that a burger? No, that's a skull. He was the head of the Church of Satan for 30 years until his death in 1997. And now the church operates out of New York uh, in Hell's Kitchen neighborhood, obvious. And the high priest is Peter Gilmore. So, Peter, let's break it right down. Some of the myths of the Church of Satan. You don't actually believe in Satan, do you? Right. We're not devil worshippers. We're Satanists. We start off being atheists and then decide that we are our own gods, the center of the universe. And so Satan for us is a symbol of freedom, liberty, and pride, which we think is a wonderful thing. Well, now, now why Satan? I mean, you could have been inspired by Dylan. You could have been inspired by Shakespeare. And you would have had way less hassle. Why did somebody go, you know that guy that everybody hates in the Bible? That's the guy. Why him? Well, Satan trumps all of those folks, first of all, and we're certainly good showbiz folk, as all people in religions are, although we're the only ones who admit it. And Satan in Hebrew means adversary, and we are the adversaries for all of those spiritual religions that tell people to wait for some afterlife and waste their current lives. We don't think that you live after death, so you've got to enjoy yourself now. Well, and as bizarre as, as many religions would seem to an outsider, you recognize that uh, religion does provide meaning to people's lives. Certain people t take a lot of meaning from it. What does the Church of Satan provide people in, in the form of meaning? Well, me, for us, meaning is something that you have to give existence because we think the universe is indifferent to us. There's no God, there's no devil, there's no afterlife. So you have to take control of your own life and decide what is going to have meaning for you. So Satanism is a tool for our members to get the most out of life. What, what are the rituals of the Church of Satan? What do you guys do? Do you meet every Sunday? What's your deal? Well, ritual is a tool, and we are not required to use it. Uh, we consider it a self-transformative psychodrama. It's a way of going into a theatrical space where you release any emotions that are hindering you from enjoying your life. So if somebody's done you something wrong, they've gone out of their way to harm you, you go into the ritual chamber and you put a curse on them. You take a doll of them, you stick pins in it, you scream and shout and your system. Then you leave it there. You don't take it with you once you've gotten out of the chamber. And that way you feel a hell of a lot better. Yeah, but, but do you actually, th like, you're sticking pins in people's dolls, imagining they're people. Do you expect that somebody out there is going to go, Jesus, my back really hurts all of a sudden? No, no, we don't expect that. But if something bad happens to them after that, we're not going to feel sorry for them because they're the ones who harmed us in the first place. Well, I guess it's, there are, obviously you always hear the negative press that comes to the Church of Satan uh, anytime there's some sort of ritualistic killing out there. Uh, your church steps up and disavows yourself uh, from those groups. Do you have any relationship with those people who call themselves Satanists and do these things that you don't agree with? Well, actually, the FBI has proved that there really are no organized groups doing any of those ritualized killings, that that's a big misnomer that was fostered by Christian evangelists during what we call the Satanic Panic. Every once in a while, you'll find somebody crazy who is a Christian. They believe in the Christian God and the Christian devil, and they believe that the, their devil symbol is evil, and they might use that to try to put something negative on someone they hurt. But that's something that's actually far rarer than you might expect. How does somebody... It just gets a lot of attention. And how does somebody become the high priest? How do you become the black pope? Well, we, we all saw when Pope John Paul II passed away and the whole process to bring us Benny XVI, we saw the black smoke and the drama. What, do you, what happens when you become the black pope of the Church of Satan? Well, in the Church of Satan, it's merit, not inherit. So I spent a long time working as an administrator of the organization, being uh, on the Council of Nine, which is the board of directors for the, for the whole thing. And I was a close friend and confidant of Anton LaVey. So when he perished, he basically had set up his companion, who was our high priestess, Blanche Barton, myself and my wife, Peggy Nadramia, to be the main administrators of the organization. And it became magically appropriate for me to take the reins and be the high priest. You know, I grew up as a fan listening to blues music and listening to rock and roll and metal, and you always heard Satan uh, attached to all three of those. And you always hear about them in the context of high-profile members. Uh, you got, uh, I mean, Marilyn Manson apparently was a card-carrying member of your church. Have you got a lot of other high-profile people who are members of your church? So certainly, of course. Uh, we have ones that will tell you who they are, and, you know, King Diamond, of course, and mm -hmm. Sammy Davis Jr. was a member, as was Jane Mansfield. And then we have high-profile members who will never let you know because it would harm their careers. And in Satanism, since Satanism is a tool, not a cause, we don't require people to be open about their membership. So that the folks who are in the PTA, who are running corporations, who are working in law enforcement uh, and in the military, we have plenty of people over in Iraq, that they won't get 
hindered in their careers by the Christians who would be with them, who would be prejudiced against them. But you've seen all the good work that Tom Cruise has done for the Church of Scientology. Don't you think you need one of those for you guys? We're fine. <laughs> if Tom Cruise ever decided he wanted to be part of us, he's a good producer and actor. We'd think that was great. But uh, we're doing okay. <laughs> the, uh, and I'm obviously I'm kidding here, but you know, you're the black pope, and I wonder if at a certain point, if when the actual pope comes to town, you guys meet like a first minister's conference, <laughs> like heads of religions. You don't have any of that stuff? No, we're not ecumenical. We really don't care what other people believe. Uh, so long as other religions keep to themselves, you know, people can believe whatever they want, whatever floats their boat. So long as they're not trying to force it on us or trying to legislate their morality, we really don't care. We're not trying to proselytize or convert anybody because we think you're a born Satanist, that you find our literature, you recognize yourself in it as if it was a mirror, and you go, hey, I didn't know it, but I've always been a Satanist. It's not something that you convert to. So you're not, so you're not putting backwards messages on CDs or, or MP3s now to get to the kids, are you? No, you know, we don't let people who are under the legal age of adulthood join. And uh, we, we prefer mature folks who have made a real good decision about who they are and wanting to throw in their lot with us. You know, we appreciate you taking the time on uh, the day that is 666. Any big plans for tonight? Anything you got in the works? Fireworks or something? Yes. Well, not fireworks, but we're performing a satanic high mass in Los Angeles at the Steve Allen Theater. Uh, the uh, Center for Inquiry, which is a skeptical society, realized that we Satanists are also skeptics. We're materialists and Epicureans. So we're going to have a high mass where there are Satanists gathering from about nine different countries around the globe to have the first public Satanic ritual. Peter Gilmore, High Priest of the Church of Satan, the Black Pope, thanks for taking the time. Thank you so much for having me.